prove your existence with your blood. Yes, it is true that our demon is another mystic character that needs buff. And she will get buff in the future, who knows when. For the meantime, I still think she could still perform her jobs well for both PvP and PvE. However, in order to make that happen, you will need to have good variety pieces of equipment to play around. Which means our demon shadow is not newbie friendly. Seeing her skill 1 could shut down her target passive ability and also able to trigger an AoE attack with a 35% chance, this skill is considering pretty deadly in PvP because of shield debuff and somewhat useful for PvE because of the 35% chance of proxying the AoE. But here's the catch. She needs to be able to survive in order to keep attacking with her skill 1. And because of that, I think it would be best to gear her up with HP equipment. Even though that would make her attack weaker, but I still think her main role is not all about being a damage dealer, but instead a character that could shut down her target passive skill and a mage that could be able to tank due to her skill too, which allow her to take less damage from critical hit. And not to mention that there are many unique artifacts strictly for mages, which you could play around with them in order to surprise your enemies that she is a tank instead of a damage dealer. Besides, I think her damage output would not be that horrible because her base attack is relatively high if not the highest among other mages. And because of that, I think it would fairly balance out in order for her to hit her enemies with a moderate amount of damage while being tanky and shutting down her target passive skills. Also, I think Archdemon Shadow relies heavily on RNG. Yes, and so by having a lot of HP, it could enhance the probability to trigger that RNG moment, meaning that sometimes he could hit her target up to three times with counter set and with some HP stats. Well, so far this is just my thought. I still haven't got the time to turn her to level 60 yet, but I will try to make that happen. Oh, and by the way, I managed to pour her and her duplicated form within a summon. Perhaps this is fate, encouraging me to build her, to invest Molagora in her. Of course, she's lacking something, and perhaps that would be her skill 3. It is not deadly at all. I don't see anything special in not triggering counterattack. Could this be a sign for shattering that she will be strictly for anti-counter meta? Well anyway, I hope and I think she will get a buff in near futures. So if you happen to have her and you are not satisfied with her, don't throw her away. Keep her. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Guide me to the depths of your mind.